Welcome back, philosophers! In our second installment in the series, we will now look at one area in Greek society where women held a lot of power. Interestingly enough, there was aspects of feminism within Greek religion. Priestesses in ancient Greece, specifically in Delphi, were well respected and considered especially wise. Delphi was an ancient religious sanctuary dedicated to the Greek god Apollo and was home to the oracle of Delphi and the priestess Pythia, whom we know in the ancient world for divining the future. Pythia was highly regarded, for it was believed that she channeled prophecies from the god Apollo. The Pythian priestess emerged preeminent by the end of the 7th century BC and continued to be consulted until late 4th century AD. The oracles were women, who were the most prestigious and authoritative oracles among the Greeks, and the priestesses were among the most powerful women of the classical world. The priestesses acted as mentors and tutors to many ancient philosophers. Diotima was a 6th century seer or Pythia of Apollo at the Temple of Delphi, and is found in dialogues such as Symposium, where we see her teach Socrates the Ladder of Love. The sentiment in this period of antiquity was very much that women were inferior. Take Xenophon's Symposium as an example. He writes, the girl's performance is just one of the many proofs that women are not naturally inferior to men. They lack only sense and strength. He further states in Economicus that women are much more fearful and hence more protective of possessions, while men are more courageous. Aristotle in Politics writes, the slave is wholly lacking the deliberative element. The female has it, but it lacks authority. The child has it, but is incomplete. So what does this show us? This shows us that misogyny and stereotypes were not something uncommon within ancient Greek philosophers, and definitely not in Athens. Despite this, and despite what we learned in the previous video, the oracles were respected for their wisdom, and their position of priestesses was at the center of one of the most powerful religious institutions in the ancient world. The oracles were consulted by a variety of people with a diverse range of problems, this meant the opportunity for women to comment on issues of public and individual concern, issues of warfare, the relationships between city-states, and various cult matters. Famously, in the Apology by Plato, Seraphon asks an oracle if there was anyone wiser than Socrates, and the priestess replied that there was not. Apology makes it clear that Socrates believed that the oracle could not lie, indicating a strong trust towards the priestesses. Though philosophers for the most part in ancient Greece depicted women as inferior, throughout philosophy the priestesses are held in high regard. Now this is an interesting look at history, especially due to the priestesses' role in philosophy. However, it must be said that the oracles and priestesses generally had no political or military power widespread and were not part of everyday social interactions. And no one was required to consult them nor heed their advice. However, the point remains that they were respected and honored, and this is something that should be celebrated, as their gender did not affect their wisdom. Interested by the references to apology and symposium? Tune into the next video where we delve into how women were represented in philosophical texts, and perhaps answer the question, was Plato a feminist? Tune into the next video to find out.